Hello folks and welcome back to another video. Today we are looking at the Airfix Buffalo Amphibian and Jeep set. Uh, this is in 176, although it does state 172 on the box as Airfix used to uh, a little while back. It comes with one flying hour, as you can see, a rather strategic place right in the middle of the uh, image there. If you uh, wanted to cut that out, unfortunately you're going to destroy the uh, box top, but hey, there you go. Um, size of the box, just your usual uh, kind of stuff, reproduction of the uh, cover art and a little bit of a blurb there, end of the box, you know, same kind of thing, and a few uh, warnings and bits and pieces on this end, so it tells you uh, what paints to use and so on and so forth, pay, uh, not included, etc, etc. So that's basically it. Um, this particular uh, set I have quite a while, and I'm actually finishing off a, a little unit of uh, amphibians for my 79th armoured for rapid fire. So that's why this uh, this piece is out today. Um, purchased a good while back, uh, as in 1997-98, I'd say. So let's look at the instructions. Instructions are typical of Airfix of the time. And uh, you can read the blurb in the front there in various languages, usual stuff, tells you about the uh, vehicle itself, where it was used, etc, etc, armaments and various bits and pieces like that, which is always very interesting. Um, again, continues on into the inside page, and you have your usual kind of uh, key to the uh, symbols there as well. And then you get into the instructions themselves. So you can see there on the top, um, fairly basic and straightforward kind of stuff really. I've done three of these before and to be honest they're not the worst. A um, little bit of warping sometimes if the plastic is old, it is kind of an old sculpt so I think in probably uh, mid to late 60s maybe. But um, nice enough little piece has to be said. As you go down along there you put the hull together and so on and so forth. You put your various bits and pieces in and uh, you kind of put your uh, your MG's in there, you've got a couple of 50 cals, or maybe 30 cals, and you have, uh, looks like a 20 millimeter, and uh, your tracks and stuff go on then as well. And uh, then the instructions for the Jeep, uh, as you can see there, basic uh, form there at the end. And then you have your, uh, your driver and so on and so forth. And you just basically assemble it from there, and then you have your uh, decal marking instructions as well which is uh, fairly straightforward, as I would say. So that's that. So what else is in the box? Uh, all right, there was... Um, I could look like this young chap. If, uh, I'd sent away for a hat back in the day. I won't be doing that. And then there was um, some repatch replacement stuff. All pre-internet days, of course. No uh, websites or email addresses on those. Uh, some other sort of warnings in various other languages. I'm not quite sure what all that was. Fair enough. And then the, uh, the tracks here. So I'm going to look at those. Tracks are in good nick. Uh, has that sort of uh, I don't know, you can call it paddle pattern or whatever it is, but that pattern that the uh, the LVT4 had, which is fair enough. That's that. Um, sprues then. So basically, you're looking here at some of the wheels. There's a jerry can, um, and a few bits and pieces. These are the uh, kind of hatches, uh, front of the jeep there on the left hand side. All good. Detail isn't too bad, it has to be said. But it's a fairly basic kit, uh, particularly the interior. Um, here again, you could put a crew member or two sticking their heads out if you wanted. Uh, that's all very, fairly fine. And this is the uh, hatch, the rear hatch for the, uh, the uh, access point. That's grand. Uh, what else have we got? Uh, these are some kind of side, uh, side skirt parts there. There your driver for the Jeep. It looks like he's wearing a beret. And there's some more of the hull and that. Um, what else have I got here? Some clear parts. So your Jeep, uh, they made that in uh, all clear. So you have to paint that and then leave the windows clear, which isn't a bad idea to be fair for such a small piece. Um, it's a bit thick and sort of, there was a lot I was in school with had glasses like that. But anyway, um, there's the uh, the body of the Jeep itself. Fair enough. Very small, 176 of course. Although they do advertise 172. Um, then you've got some side pieces. There's one. Fair enough. You know, wheels go in there. A little bit of trim and tidying up to be done there, but that'll be okay. And there's the other one. That's all right. And here we have um, some other sections there as well. You also have your wheels for the Jeep, your steering wheels, uh, your uh, leaf spring suspension there as well. Very interesting. Uh, some other bits and pieces there, there for the uh, LVT. 
and then you have um, there your 30s or 50s I'm not quite sure what they're supposed to be they're very poorly detailed I have to say uh, very basic but you know it's okay there's the uh, detail on the side there if you can see that it's not the worst um, for a kit that of its age there's your 20 millimeter I think it's 20 anyway and the size of the Jeep bonnet of the Jeep no problem and the base of the uh, the vehicle itself now let's have a look at some decals decals um, I have two sets here and the reason I have two sets is as I was saying I have three of these already made from the 90s and I did not put any markings on them in 20 odd years um, but I'm going to do that this week <laughs> I promise um, so I have some that were boxed slightly differently I don't do boxes anymore I can't remember which uh, deck of the sheet came with this particular set I have a feeling myself it was this one um, the as you can see the, the detail isn't great on those and uh, not coming out very well a little bit sort of off-white as well uh, whereas these ones um, I'm not sure if you can see those but they are in a much better condition altogether um, but that's that's fine no problem we'll, uh, we'll make our, the best of a bad lot with that and uh, that'll be uh, my four LVT4 Buffalo Amphibians sorted out so I'm going to crack on and get the uh, final one um, assembled and uh, do the uh, markings on the other three and this one and uh, I'll be ready to rock and roll for my 79th armor so we will talk to you then take care guys see you in a few minutes okay so we've returned with the completed uh, models so in the foreground there you can see the jeep um, I find the jeep a little bit fiddly to put together but um, that's probably because of my awkward fingers um, I have painted the uh, the guy driving it there uh, sort of in British Army colours as I say this is supposed to be 79th division um, 79 armoured so uh, it would be a um, British uniform in that, in that regard uh, the Jeep itself fairly straightforward little thing as I say it's just I find it a little bit fiddly and things small like that um, with my uh, my feeling I said at this age <laughs> but at the end of the day um, it's a Jeep in the story it's uh, nothing too uh, dramatic uh, unfortunately there's no like you know um, machine guns with it or anything like that it's just basically a Jeep and um, and a driver uh, decals are quite nice in it in fairness as well they sit down quite nice on it um, and as I say detail wise for something so small it isn't too bad the LVT itself is uh, quite a nice build a little bit awkward in places here and there uh, it's not particularly well detailed as I might have mentioned earlier um, it is a very very old kit in fairness one of the Airfix ones from the, uh, the 60s or 70s um, but it's quite nice and uh, if you were into detailing uh, kits as well I mean it'll uh, it's a good foundation for any that kind of thing or converting it to the other uh, other formats of LVT um, as you can see there I put the two 30 cals I'm pretty sure they're 30 cals and add a 20 millimeter on um, still have a kind of a black with a bit of kind of a you know, weathered sort of an appearance on them as well um, the paint color itself is uh, 86 green for the um, as, in, as for the instructions for the actual vehicle itself uh, with a little bit of um, kind of just weathering over it as well. That's basically it, and some uh, some null and oil by uh, Citadel just to give it kind of a greasy, muddy sort of a, an appearance. Uh, the markings themselves aren't specific to uh, 79 armored, but I just threw them on anyway because these are for war gaming and they will be used um, in other uh, other war games. You know, I could be doing something for the Pacific. I could be doing whatever D Day, anything at all. Um, and at the end of the day, these will be used in them. Um, so just uh, used a bit of kind of mud and bits and pieces like that on the tracks and wheels, and kind of spattered up the the side of the vehicle itself. And that's really it. Um, let's have a look at the back of it there as well. So yeah, the decals kind of went to bits a little bit here at some of the points of the, st the Allied Stars there, but um, it looks kind of nice and worn as well, so that's sort of uh, not too bad either, to be fair. I'm not too worried about that. As I say, not much detail on there, but that's where the ramp would drop down. Um, I was trying to put it in a situation where I'd be able to manoeuvre that ramp up and down if I so wish, but that didn't seem to be quite possible, so I just left it in the fixed position. The other side of the vehicle there, again, pretty much the same, same as the other side as I say a uh, little bit of a fit issue here as well and a little bit on the same side as well on the other side should I say as well um, just unfortunately just the plastic was a little bit uncooperative but there you go that's uh, what you get with these kits they're, they're quite old so sometimes you'll be, you'll be fighting them and sometimes they'll, they'll go together like a dream but that one just wouldn't cooperate exactly as I wished it would in this area here but as I say we live and learn 
Just put the vehicle on its side there as well, so you can see the interior is uh, rather spartan to say the least, and um, there's not much going on there. Um, but at the end of the day, they're um, you know they're a very basic old kit, and that's what you get with Airfix a lot of the time. Just looking at the front section of another one here, uh, what I've done is I've left the uh, this door open and uh, put a crewman there. That crewman is actually a British uh, Matchbox British infantryman. He's the guy throwing the grenade. If you've ever seen uh, my video on that, you'll see what that guy looks like. But basically, just to have a crewman there, and because they're seventy nine armor, they did use they use the. Um, the British, uh, British infantryman there just to have the helmet poking out there. That was actually harder to do than you think because I decided as an afterthought I'd do what I was going to, then I wasn't going to, then I decided I'd do it again. Anyway, um, so that was a bit, bit awkward putting that in there, but I was quite happy with the end result. So there we go. There we have my four LVT4s um, for my rapid fire. Uh, as I say, that's it's simply it's four in the rules um, for a battalion of uh, 79 armoured. So um, I'm ready to rock and roll and um, try and maybe cross the Rhine with Operation Varsity or something like that. Um, so myself and the young lad will uh, will get to it over the weekend, I'd say. And um, there'll be a, a few dice thrown and we'll see how we go. Um, so that's it. That's basically the, uh, the Airfix LVT4 Buffalo. Uh, amphibian and jeep of course don't forget the jeep part um as i say it's an old kit um i quite like it in fairness it's a cool looking vehicle and um you know as i said something that doesn't pop up on uh modeling sites very often um you don't see an awful lot of people modeling those but at the same time i think it's a cool little uh cool little vehicle and um the airfix one whilst it's old and has its faults and like anything like that from Airfix, uh, I think it's well worth it and a great little uh, foundation if you were to do a bit of kit bashing, I say as well. So that's it, guys. That's uh, our review on uh, that particular vehicle. So if you'd like and subscribe and uh, all that business, that'd be wonderful. Thank you very much, and we shall see you soon with a new video.